Yeah, so. it's not it's not really disputable. There's um, there's not just a bias in the criminal justice system where women get less harsh punishments than men do for literally the same crime across the board. Uh, and this is also not just a phenomenon isolated to the United States. This is almost a global phenomenon. Everywhere I looked, this was the case. Which shows, again, the benevolent ma- nature, by the way, of men <laughs> and the way that we perceive women. But also, uh, just in divorce alone, of course, it's skewed in favor of women. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the entire criminal justice system is skewed um, toward, against men and towards women, for sure. If you're going to, I think it's more complex and you can't just break the dynamic down um, as simplistically as that. But if you're going to just kind of summarize it, yeah, there's definitely bias. I can actually put this topic to rest because I've looked it up. Uh, women are, are sent to jail 42% less than men, and they receive 25% shorter sentences. Yeah, yeah. well, no, nobody's disputing that. The, it's yeah. the causation that I think we would dispute. So, again, I would kind of indicate and point back to virtues. It, and when we're talking about a virtuous society, it's become kind of a standard um, that women aren't held responsible for their actions. They're kind of infantilized, uh, and we, we treat them like, uh, like they're infants with, who have no agency. And that's the incorrect way uh, to go about doing things. So I think, I think it's a virtue issue again. All of these things always seem to indicate or go back to societal engineering against virtue. So, for instance, um, if, if, uh, if a man molests a 13-year-old girl... Society views it as being heinous in comparison to when a 13-year-old boy is molested by the same aged female. Why is that? Well, it's with power dynamics or some bullshit the left makes up, but it's not true. It's because of an elimination of virtue. We should, we should be applying a virtuous standard to women as well, and we just don't. We just don't do it because men have lost their own virtuous standards. Um, I think it's interesting the way that you phrase this is like this has been something that's been lost because it seems like, at least to my understanding, these biases in the court system have existed since like basically the court system itself, right? So oftentimes when you look at like these like hearings or when you look at why did these women get sentenced less than men, like even from, you know, let's go 1900s, even before that, um, the reasons are always like, well, that pretty lady or that little old lady, you know, she can't really hurt anybody <laughs> or she's not that much of a threat. And I think this is just this idea of like prevalent. No, and that's a, that's a, that's an oversimplification. So well, no, I when think you're still looking have, at, when you're looking at, can I finish? I'm almost done. Here. I think looking like throughout, you know, our history and society, we have always seen women as like less threatening than men. They are less um, threatening because- than men. <laughs> That's well, why we look at it that, that way. No, okay. <laughs> what do you think the court system is for? Uh, in the United States, the court system is uh, supposed to be about having blind justice, and e- and it's supposed to be about justice. That's what it's supposed to be. It's about. supposed to be about justice, right? Yeah. Um, so if you commit a bad action, right, and you are you know hurting society, you should be held to that standard of like, okay, like no, we have to bring you well, to. It justice, doesn't have to right? be a bad action necessarily for a court to interject for justice. So. Okay, like an illegal, a- well, whatever, an illegal action, an action. Do you not think that like doesn't even laws... have to be an illegal action? But but go ahead, yeah, go okay. ahead. Okay, because I guess the point that I'm trying to convey here is that I do think um, if you commit this like bad or illegal action, right, one that our society deems like unfit and unokay, then yes, you are a threat to a society just as much as a man is, right? So you should be punished just as well. So when you're saying like, oh, women are less threatening than men, I don't necessarily agree with you because there's there are nothing to dispute situations. there's nothing to dispute. okay because earlier you were just like women compares, are threatening than men yeah, and i'm so just like they're, okay they're well, not, that's part of the problem that's why people you're not are being... listening you're not listening so okay it is true that men over the reason that men over represent almost all violent uh crime in almost all sectors and always will is because we're we're literally engineered to be predators we're engineered to be predatory. That's what we're we're biologically engineered to do. So, of course, the crime rates for men are going to be sky high in comparison to women. But what's happened is that, no, it has not been a historic standard that if women are found guilty of crimes, they were given a lesser punishment. We burned witches at the stake, right? We literally burned them at the stake. They weren't given a lesser punishment. When it came to infidelity, we executed them. They weren't given a lesser punishment. So this is not a historical apt 
uh, thing that you're talking about, even inside of justice systems, which are somewhat modern, which were Euro modern European justice systems from the 1600s. We were still burning witches. So, no, women were hel held to a higher standard when we were virtuous. Argument. Do you actually? Do think it the it yes, yes, it is. I can't. To be fair, you're being kind of dismissive <laughs> without addressing it. Though. Sure, I will address it as well. So. Do you actually think that in the 1800s that they regarded, for example, like a woman doing like a woman uh, assaulting another person and mugging them? Do you think that they treated that equal to a man or do you think that they were probably likely to dismiss her as like a silly little woman? I think that it wasn't something that was encountered often. So I can understand. So I can understand why the penalty differential would be there versus crimes that were encountered often by women where the penalty differential was not. Uh, set higher for men than women. They were burned at the stake, for instance. Yes, like infidelity. women were assumed to be witches more often than men were. But you're just talking about a gender-specific type of crime. Right. Which, so you're are you. So options. are you. Mugging no, is a gender-specific type of crime. I just asked you that Isn't Isn't that a gender-specific type of crime, mugging? Yes or no? no men do it more often. Then That's it's a gender-specific type yeah. of crime. No. Okay, but like witch burning is a gender specific type of crime, even though men who are witches also got burned. <laughs> even though men who are witches got burned, huh? Yes, this is big brain erudite do. here. Like hold on, hold on. This, is, this is so fucking obvious because in the cases of witches, we all know now that literally nothing was happening. It was just mass paranoia that often resulted in women being killed. Whereas in the cases of mugging, the crimes were actually. First of all, that's historically yes, illiterate. You don't know what you're talking about. Women. It you had most of the or? most of the time. The reason that that people were burned as being witches is because midwives assisted in abortions. They assisted in abortions. That was what they were mostly being burned for. Now, there was some instances where there was mass hysteria, uh, hysteria when it came to certain trials and things like this. But if you had read my wife's book, Occult Feminism, you would actually know this because she goes over it in great That's detail. Right, historical book, you know, yeah. top, top on the Amazon. Well, I mean, it references it references actual historical books from documented scholars, but that's fine because it was written by her. It must be invalid, even though she references their work. Genius. Um, I think we found your Halloween. No one, no one is saying that. <laughs> I just don't care about your wife's book as evidence for whether or not this is true. I didn't offer her book as evidence. I offered the stuff in her book, which references historic facts as evidence. <laughs> I, can't do it. Okay. I, I feel question. like that's just like two steps away from just being able to show your wife's book. Well done, sir. Well done. I, I agree. By the way, I'm very proud I, of that. But now back to this, I do have to ask, how could you say that it's gender specific for witch burning when men were burned as witches, but it's not gender specific when it came to mugging? You're literally talking about just which gender does it more. How could that not be the case? But didn't you bring up the example? No, no I wanted to answer my question. Oh, how can okay. that not be the case? How can All that right. not be the case? <laughs> All right, buddy. As women, there wasn't a crime occurring. There was an assumption of crime against a specific individual, and it seems like society constantly wanted to pin that on women. In the case of mugging, mugging is a real crime that actually occurs. And so I'm trying to ask in the They're 1800s, both real crimes. Witchcraft would be a real crime even if you, you don't think that it was real. It was still a real crime. What the hell are you talking you, about? Wait, so do you, do you believe witchcraft is a thing that can actually happen? Do you think It doesn't matter. It was it was treated as a crime. <laughs> whether well, whether they're actually doing something well, magical or not so irrelevant well, regardless like in, in a sense a crime was committed against these women that were burned at the stake no, as well so still that is a gender specific crime even by that standard what we're um, talking about is is historically was it the case that women were treated equal in the eyes of the law and viewed as just as likely to be perpetrators as men and therefore treated equally under the law for the your crimes for the crimes that they were usually committing yes no so I'm asking you, in the 1800s, do you actually believe that if a woman committed a mugging, that she would have received the same level of sentencing and punishment as a man committing a mugging? So Regardless I've already... Not, a man or woman would do I've, it more Okay, I'll answer, I'm going to answer your question. <laughs> as soon as you answer to me how this would not be a gender-specific crime under your criteria for witches versus mugging, you still haven't answered that. That it's it's so inconsequential and you don't want to go into the fact that then just bite the bullet and say you misspoke just bite the bullet and say you misspoke instead of I being arrogant misspoke. erudite I didn't misspoke. I didn't okay well then explain it then explain how they're not gendered under the same criteria it makes no sense 
because in the case of witchcraft, there was no crime actually occurring. It was mostly people making There was shit a up. crime occurring. Whether or not you think it was reality, what they was, was a considered crime? a crime. What are you talking what about? What were they doing? What were they doing? They were engaging in whatever was considered the practice of witchcraft. No. The Salem witch trials was almost exclusively mass hysteria because one woman had So a what? It was still considered a crime? It was still considered a crime. You can't evade that. I don't know what to tell you. You cannot evade it was considered a crime. I question were these people actually crime. committing that crime or not. <laughs> it was and it okay, don't you understand what she's saying? She's saying like Let's pretend that there was no such thing as stop signs and, it, you know, people would cross the street and you would burn them for a stop sign that wasn't there. Who cares? It's I still considered a crime. Not a real screech, crime. Not, screech, a, not a farcical read, crime read. that is drummed up and fabricated. In the case of witchcraft, it is a farcical crime. How would that crime not that be gender specific? You still and haven't answered that. There were mistrials. There were mistrials constantly because there was a lot of people motivated in this situation, for example, to find women guilty of this for some yeah, reason. Yeah, you've already explained sure. that. Yeah, but you haven't explained yes. how that wouldn't be gender specific. It makes no sense. It was I mean, even by our modern st witches, standards, it's still right. a gendered crime because we're yeah, it makes no sense. women that are getting tied to the <laughs> stake and burned. The crime is being committed against them, and there's still, there like, was, even by our modern <laughs> standards, that'd still be a gendered crime. It's like making so shit up as she goes to try to cover it. There was no due process in the cases of women who are exactly. found with. Crimes yes, against there them. were some men, but most of the people who were burned at the stake for being witchcraft doers were women. Just right. I'm outlining it as a gender specific thing because it is a fabricated crime. In the case of mugging, it is not. It's a not fabricated. Crime. They were accused of a crime, and then they were they were murdered or murdered for the crime. Yes. How is the cr the crime's not fabricated? Whether yes, you think different. that they're guilty of actually doing it is a totally different thing. It was still it? considered a crime. It's still gender specific because if you're talking about the majority of it is X person does it, then that would be gender specific. What the fuck are you talking about? I are you are you retarded? Literally? I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I it's, it's so funny that you will say these things unironically while you're literally... Uh, it is unironic. False, yes. False accusations. You're basically being like... I you said this. You said it. No. I didn't say it. You said it. I can't with this level of autism. I, I actually... It's not autistic. Explain. You could have just walked it back and said I misspoke and it made no sense. You could have just done that. I'm not saying that witchcraft wasn't in the law. I'm saying that the crime of witchcraft was typically fabricated because nothing was actually happening. At worst, it was like women tripping on mushrooms. And at most, it, if there was anything actually seriously happening, it was midwives using herbs to help women not die in birth. So what I'm saying is you're missing all of the social cues here. So when I'm talking about a gender-specific thing, I'm talking about a situation, regardless of whether it was the law, that people fabricated, there were mistrials, and people made up shit to claim that women were witches. How would that make it not gender specific you lunatic how no, she's saying it makes it gender specific in the case of witchcraft <laughs> right well if that's the case then it would make it gender specific in the saying. terms of mugging what are, what are think, you talking you about a crime that like doesn't happen do you think like do you think <laughs> mugging is like not a real crime like does it do, is that what you think no, no but like what I are think you what talking he's saying about is like, like people who did witchcraft, what is the iq like, of the they, people like, on this panel they practiced <laughs> something right they practice spells and all this bullshit yeah, there was a, is there that the was a majority thing they were doing none of this because muggings are happening and witchcraft was not that's so people issue. weren't like people yes weren't what that? they considered witchcraft what they considered witchcraft was happening and they did witchcraft prosecute people for it what reality do you live in witchcraft is women being scapegoated under false accusations and men muggings are not and men, men. Being scapegoated. and no. men. well yeah men could be on, scapegoated wait, for wait, muggings wait. what are you talking hold about on. hold muggings. on wait 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 hold on wait not so erudite <laughs> oh, do you think that they were actually doing anything that would be considered witchcraft in these scenarios, or do you think they were just accusing them of witchcraft with absolutely no evidence? There was tons of cases that have been unearthed where most of this was mistrials, and it was absolutely fabricated based on things like one girl's testimony. The Salem witch trials is an excellent example. Of That's only one example that. of tons. A, yeah, yeah. The Malfarious Maleficarium, which is called, the, it's literally the document which well, talks about how you you apply standards to witchcraft the malfarious maleficarium i'm not kidding it's not a joke and it was a crime and it was gender specific at least according to your standard i don't know why you won't just concede the point there's nothing to concede to you <laughs> just, just double down on the stupidity that's fine i guess i don't know what to say I, 